We don't like you one bit, Voldemort, but if we had to choose between hanging out with you or Dolores Umbridge, we would choose you any day. That woman is so vile, she could make anyone's skin crawl. A dark dungeon filled with Death Eaters sounds like a lemon drop compared to a bright pink office filled with cat pictures and enchanted quills. Umbridge is such a despicable character, it's easy to forget that she's a funny and decent person in real life. Even movie franchises as magical and serious as Harry Potter have blooper reels of their own. It can be strange to see villains like Voldemort, Unbridge, and Draco Malfoy laughing between takes, but that's exactly what you're about to see. Watch until the end to find out which scene Unbridge and McGonagall couldn't film without laughing. As if you're questioning my authority in my own classroom. Hermione Granger isn't someone who beats around the bush. While we wouldn't go as far as to call her violent, she has delivered her fair share of blows throughout the franchise. And we're not talking about that time she punched Draco Malfoy in the face in Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Nope, we're talking about the time she hit Harry in the head with a roll of parchment paper in Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. In this scene, Hermione points out that a girl is only interested in Harry because she thinks he's the chosen one, to which Harry replies, but I am the chosen one. That's when Hermione unleashes her wrath upon the boy who lived. This scene makes for one of the funniest bloopers in the film. Before the actors perfected the scene, Emma Watson accidentally hit Daniel Ratcliffe a little too hard, prompting her to start laughing uncontrollably. Daniel had to cut his line short and ask her if she was laughing because of how hard she hit him. And he was right on the money. Ask someone I like. Someone cool. Draco Malfoy has hated Harry Potter ever since he chose Ron Weasley over him in Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Since then, he's tried to one-up him every step of the way. When Harry made Seeker in the first year of Hogwarts, Draco retaliated by buying his way into the Slytherin Quidditch team in his second year. Filming the Quidditch matches wasn't always easy. Tom Felton and Daniel had to sit on suspended broomsticks in front of a blue screen, and things got a little heated every once in a while. While filming the iconic Quidditch match of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, Tom and Daniel playfully bickered when it came to their placements. When Tom pointed out that Daniel had gone the wrong way, Daniel replied, whoops, but Tom thought that Daniel was calling him a wuss. You call me a wuss? No, I said wuss. This hilarious blooper had the crew laughing in no time. Although Harry and Dracoy might be enemies on screen, the boys pointed out that they're quite chummy in real life. Give it here, Malfoy, or I'll knock you off your broom! Daniel Radcliffe was just 11 years old when he first started shooting Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, and like most of the kid actors on set, Daniel had issues with keeping a straight face during some serious scenes. There are tons of bloopers from the first film, but none compared to how Daniel reacted to being yelled at by actor Vern Troyer, who portrayed the goblin Griphook. When Hagrid first takes Harry to Gringotts, he's surprised to find out that goblins exist. In the actual film, Griphook asks Harry, and does Mr. Harry Potter have his key? But at first, Griphook was supposed to yell at young Harry before asking him for his key. Problem was, Daniel Ratcliffe couldn't stop himself from bursting into laughter after being yelled at by Vern. So the scene was altered to prevent the young actor's outburst. Producers wanted Harry to look startled by the goblin's shriek, but their initial vision just didn't translate well on camera. Clever as they come, goblins, but not the most friendly of beasts. <laughs> Actor Warwick Davis is the actor behind the lovable Charms Master at Hogwarts. But even someone as serious as Professor Flitwick was bound to have fun while on the set of Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. During the Yule Ball, Professor Flitwick is seen conducting the Hogwarts choir while the students waltz their way across the dance floor. But things get a little hectic when the weird sisters take the stage, causing the students to pick up Professor Flitwick and pass him over their heads. This crowd surfing scene is unexpected and hilarious, especially since Flitwick can be heard yelling at his students to put him down, but the bloopers are even funnier than the actual footage. In the blooper reel, we see the students passing Warwick to one another, but the actor stops them by asking, Whose hand was that? This got a good laugh out of everyone, the crew members included. Keep watching to find out which cast member got pranked by Michael Gambon and the late Alan Rickman. Many of you are surely wondering why I have summoned you at this hour. 
One of the funniest scenes from Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1 has got to be when Harry's friends take a polyjuice potion with Harry's hair in it. They do this to confuse the Death Eaters who are on the prowl for the boy who lived. This scene was filmed in front of a green screen to facilitate the transformations, but in the end, Daniel had to pretend to be six different versions of his on-screen counterpart. Daniel pointed out that he was most excited to dress up as Fleur Delacour because he thought that he looked wonderful in women's clothes. Bill, look away. I'm hideous. Due to how hilarious this scene was, the cast had to film multiple takes. Resulting in a blooper reel, Daniel had to wear a brawl and pretend to be Floor, but handling this female undergarment proved to be most difficult. Daniel had to ask for help taking off his brawl, seeing as he was supposed to take it off in one swift motion. Luckily, Floor's on-screen husband, Bill, came to Daniel's rescue. Your eyesight really is awful. According to Minerva McGonagall, the Yule Ball is, of course, a chance for us all to, er, uh, let our hair down. And this was very much the case for actor Tom Felton, who spent years dying and slicking his hair back to portray Draco Malfoy. My father and I have a bet, you see. I don't think you're gonna last ten minutes in this tournament. Tom did let his hair down to bust a move or two with his castmates, but strictly behind the scenes, of course. While preparing to film the Yule Ball scenes in Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, the actors who portrayed the students had to learn how to dance the waltz. Perfecting the dance took about three weeks to do, but even then, Tom didn't feel all that comfortable. There are tons of bloopers of the cast messing up their steps, but one of the most surprising bloopers places Tom Felton and Emma Watson together on the dance floor. Hermione and Draco would never share a dance in the wizarding world, so this scene is a lot of fun to watch, especially since we know that Emma was crushing on Tom while filming the movies. I hope you don't mean yourself. How dare you talk to me? In Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1, the Golden Trio visits Luna Lovegood's father, Xenophilius, to get some information on the Deathly Hallows. What they don't know, however, is that Xenophilius has ratted them out to try and save Luna, who's being held captive by the Dark Lord's followers. For it's really you they want. This scene is very serious and dark, so it's hard to believe that Rupert Grint, Daniel Radcliffe, Emma Watson, and Rise Owen Evans had a hard time keeping a straight face while filming it. According to Rise, who plays Luna's dad, Emma couldn't keep it together, and each time she laughed or ruined a take, she was fined by producers. Every time they slurped their tea, Emma would start giggling, which would make everyone laugh. Considering the nature of this scene, we're surprised that Emma couldn't keep her cool. But either way, the actors managed to deliver an amazing performance, giggles and all. Well, it's the sign of the Deathly Hallows, of course. One of the funniest bloopers happened while filming Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Well, that is if you can count it as a blooper. After all, it was more of a prank, and let's just say that the boy wonder was the butt of the joke. Alan Rickman and Michael Gambon, who played Severus Snape and Albus Dumbledore respectively, joined forces to prank Daniel in one of the most unsuspected ways. The prank happened while the students of Hogwarts were forced to sleep on the floor in the Great Hall. In the movie, this happens after the fat lady is defaced by the the escaped convict, Sirius Black, who is said to be at large in the castle. But before filming this scene, Michael and Alan put a fart machine in Daniel's sleeping bag, and Michael proceeded to press the button while saying his lines. This hilarious blooper had the entire Great Hall in shambles. Unfortunately for Daniel, he was sleeping near a girl he fancied, which made the prank even more effective. We enter completely our own world. <laughs> The Harry Potter franchise just wouldn't have been the same without everyone's favorite Weasley, Ron. But actor Rupert Grint did bring his own suitcase of problems to the set. As it turns out, Rupert was notorious for smiling and laughing when he was not supposed to. You helped! Well, yeah. A bit. Which made staying in character all but impossible. There are tons of blooper reels dedicated to Rupert alone. In fact, he probably smiled and laughed his way through hours of footage. Even Matthew Lewis, who played Neville Longbottom, talked about how much Rupert used to make him laugh during takes. Sometimes directors would have to yell cut because Rupert was caught grinning in the background of a very serious scene. Dolores Umbridge is one of the most despicable characters in the Harry Potter franchise. 
and no one dislikes her more than Professor McGonagall. But in real life, Unbridge is portrayed by the hilarious Imelda Stoughton, and she and Maggie Smith, aka McGonagall, are very good friends. One of the funniest bloopers takes place in Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, when McGonagall gives Umbridge some tight-lipped attitude in front of the entire student body. Something you'd like to say, dear? Oh, there are several things I would like to say. In the movie, it looks as though these two witches are about to draw wands. But in reality, both actors are having a hard time mastering the scene because they couldn't stop laughing. Turns out, Unbridge does have a sense of humor and an excellent singing voice, too. And that's a wrap on the top 10 funniest Harry Potter bloopers. Before you go, tell us which character is your all-time favorite in the comment section below. Give this video a big thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to The Things for more. We'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.